When I was when I was young, I, I dreamed big. You know, I was that kid that was throwing a ball against the wall, and baseball was what I always wanted to do. And I wanted to play it, and I wanted to play it at the highest level. But due to an injury, uh, my path took a different course. When I played Dixie youth baseball in uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, at nine years old, and I uh, tried out and wanted to be a uh, center fielder, and my daddy said, "Son, you may like Mickey Mantle, but you're built like Yogi Berra." I believe the first game I saw Ray Guy was pitching and I thought, you know, that guy can kick and pitch and I think he can pass. I came to Southern Miss in 1974 as a student and my first experience with Southern Miss baseball was at the, the old baseball park. My first memory of uh, Southern Miss baseball was actually back at the old field, what is now the uh, football practice field. Uh, I remember John Cox was actually announcing on the field with a screen in front of him. And when I came to, to Southern Miss in uh, 1991, uh, I was amazed at the, uh, the beauty of Pete Taylor Park and didn't know that college baseball had this kind of, uh, of a following. One of the unique things, I think, at Pete Taylor Park is the right field roost. I'm not sure there's any place quite like it in uh, all of college baseball. And just about everybody out here knows each other in one way or another. And the funny thing about it is there'll be people in, that you see in the roost this year that you haven't seen since last year. You know, it's, it's a special place to our park. Uh, you know, people know that. The opposing people know it. I know some people, coaches, you get thrown out and go up there around the roost, head off from chicken or something to eat because they couldn't come back in the game. You know, one of the neat things that, that I like is whenever the, the visiting catcher overthrows the pitcher down in the bullpen and he hits the wall and it wakes everybody up in the roost and they start yelling at them. I just get a chuckle when that happens. That atmosphere is, uh, especially in the roost, to see the people there having fun, uh, to see the boots swinging on when the other team makes an error. This year will be my 28th year in this spot. And uh, I guess one of the highlights to me is being out here so long, of having players that played out here 20 some odd years ago Come by and say hello. People enjoy to be entertained and they like quality entertainment. And I think that's what we provide at Southern Miss in our baseball program. We play hard. We have a blue collar approach about ourselves. Uh, we work for everything that we get. And I think there's a respect with our community and our fan base, and they recognize that and see that. And there's a, a great deal of appreciation on their part, and we don't want to, uh, by any means, we don't want to disappoint them. I think the fan support for Southern Miss baseball here is some of the best in the country. So many people have come up to me saying it'll be February 15th before you know it. It, it is a love relationship with our fans and our folks. And I just think that you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and all this fine environment for baseball has not come about by some stroke of magic. It's come about by a lot of hard work by a lot of different people. The fact that we have, I think, one of the premier college baseball facilities in the country is a great tribute to those who have worked on this project uh, and uh, those who now maintain it. Leadership is such an important quality in all aspects of life. And I see that, I see that uh, with Coach Berry and his staff, and I see it passing on to the 
student athlete. You can go to Scott anytime. His door's open. He's here for you. He's here for the fans. And uh, I wouldn't be hesitant at all about him taking care of my kid for four years. At the end of the game, if we happen to be behind a couple runs, then all I have to do is look to my right, carry Longstaff, or to my left across the aisle to Ray and Charla, and uh, we know what comes next. The hats go around, and it's rally time. And it's that family experience that makes this place at the peak so special. If you love baseball, if you grew up watching baseball, then uh, Pete Taylor Park's where you want to be because on a, on a Friday night or a Saturday afternoon or a Tuesday or Wednesday night or a Sunday afternoon, you're going to see something that's going to make you go back and remember uh, what you loved about the game of baseball when you were growing up. Uh, I always said if I get a chance to coach at Southern Miss, that's what I want to do. And, and, and in essence, my dream really did come true. Southern Miss and I have been together a long time, either as a player or coach, and now working some in the athletic department. So I love this school, and uh, you know it's been good to me, and I hope I've been good to you.